we have a company of the environment, we have a company of the environment, and we have a company of the environment, and we have a company of the
Uh, 
tools get pulled from the distributing the loop level and all the way to the edge of the universe. Another critical problem for amount of time we have to collapse the development. So this is something that is very terrible to wonder because so many things on our mind we put in habits. We are the only ordinary stuff, thank God it's an object. Something smaller than that, perhaps we wouldn't exist or we thought it was. All the existence from this. Um, we look closer, all the little further than out and went into the life on Mars, but uh, almost certainly no life on Mars. I think the next book, I mean, the thousand characters, or beings like us to be here and to ask. We have a life state that all molecules that we depend on make this thing oxygen combining to give water and that's called just the right amount of energy. Too much and it would not do it would not be able to melt the entire time that we can't do it. Uh, right. Just all the experience of the of all sorts of things seem to be just right for us to be here. But this also means that Martin Lawrence is rather, you know, many other worlds would have been possible. And uh, this is quite an important point to think about is that we are unique. This life form that we have very unique, we have been seeing many different other life forms on this world. We are not exceptional. There could be many other worlds, and the worlds that we have come to evolution, both in physical evolution as well as in biological evolution, could have been explained history. So there could be many other kinds of intelligent species in other worlds. Not give poem. So, so, when somebody is ready to tell it, you see the world is a great expand in heaven in the right star, you hold infinity in the palm of your hand, and you turn it in an hour. Solid capture is the bind that you have to do it at the same time as all the same. But what I've been talking about is the fact that you are here to observe this world. Is encapsulated in what's called the anthropic principle, which was formulated by Robert Dickey, uh, who was a physicist and farmer. Uh, you know, one has to wonder what kind of team has to come together to be able to create a future like us, who will be able to then observe the world and work this kind of an awesome place. So, what do you think? Well, there's a lower bound of how to all over the observation of the human facade because observation cannot be happening in the universe. It seems like a technology, it seems like it is so sturdy, but one cannot be a physicist without one being. Why do we seem to be that so? This is what's called the anthropic principle. The law of the most dimensional parameters of the universe take on value and this is a simple transition for life that we are on. Rather than a set of values that could not be consistent with life on Earth, we may not be saying if these thoughts were slightly different, there could be life of another kind, there could be other kinds of things. But what we are seeing today is a little unique because it's a 
structure comes in one way. Okay, so we are considerations on what kind of energy, what kind of, uh, you know, it will teach us to build the distance between hydrogen and oxygen, wood, and the other. And it is a But we may not be able to do it. Because what you have talked about is not said, and I think it's a little bit it's practically impossible to be not no living entity. It might be possible to observe some universe and therefore the laws should be found. Even though it's not going to be able to be brought in our own way here because we are a carbon based platform when we have to run up with the problem. Now, we gave this talk uh, in person after many years of human species having witnessed it here. And um, one thing that the scientific uh, taught us, uh, not technical but not essential, we can do away with it in person classroom. This taught us a lot of things. Uh, but what it has also specially taught us is that no phenomena. On the human scale, are uh, invisible. And you cannot always break things down to more and more intensely levels because you don't want to get to the bottom of the thing. But we realize that the problem did not solve the other problem. I mean, if you know, we were. Not contain the entire pandemic by shutting down the The things that fly from one place to another, there are people who travel from one place to another, there are people who will not observe laws, and people who would, in spite of observing laws, be susceptible. I mean, there's just so many things that, uh, you know, you can break a pandemic or a disease that's across the world. Employees being as far away from the lots of humanistic phenomena. Now, this kind of realization is something that people have talked about in context of what is called complexity science, the area of complexity. Some open. And in a very point, you know, when the physics, and you know, the and the the and the the and 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 the the and the from atomic to atomic in space, and this is the main theory that I'm talking about. This is the main theory we have. So, uh, this specifically is when you know Sukuro Manabe, and he was half and half of the uh, modeling of the sky, and then the other half went to the observation of the transmission. Now, uh, the idea of the climate model and the uh, response has a very interesting picture of the in the history of chaos. Uh, and there's a very beautiful paper by Red, who talks about the electron at the end of the universe. Now, one of the big discoveries of the last century was that many, many simple systems. Unbelievable that it is chaos. So, what changes is, and I'm going to show you more examples is the inability of the system to be precisely predictive, to show a lot of uncertainty depending on where it starts. But the electrons at the end of the universe is what 
very responsible about it. Uh, we said, suppose you will put a dog to provide two molecules. You can use the observed or the observed because the in global movement. Uh, there is one force that you cannot explain on the world that for example goes on the right of the on your molecules, it cannot be the most. Now my entire story goes to very much. Oh, this thing is making uncertainty that arises because of one single electron at the farthest reaches of the universe. Out of how many collisions will that little uncertainty have an effect on the energy of the it turns out that you can do all of this information in something like this information. The little uncertainty gets amplified so large because of the same process. And what is chaos is when you make something in the chaos is the status to the world of physics and geography. To the scientists, by two very important models, one was the experiment by the phenomenal model, and the other was the experiment by the physical What's called the Mendelian system of the experiment. It's a so let's see if the velocity, why it is temperature free and then the temperature. Then there is a very different thing as uh that and they are almost linear system. Which was uh, like an approximation to the Navier Stokes equation, which we don't need any more than we can see. What is the second is the history about how it is the solutions are different. And it's a very reactive So at the same time that this object is 
it's the blue argument we put here. The red argument has moved to the direct almost the same region. This is four. And a very simple system like this can show here. And you can imagine what is the system of the model. The system doesn't accept something in order to show a complexity in the model. It doesn't very complex. And this is a small frequency amplified over time. So that but you know exponentially amplified after a while you're going to be able to just to give you a physical idea of what sensibility we need to do. But I think that it's a simple time the system takes goes into two x mod one. Mod, mod, mod one may think that you throw away everything that's bigger than one, take the number, double it, it gets more than one, more than one. So you start with the same number of one third. One third then double it goes to two thirds. Two thirds double it goes to four thirds, but remove one, you're back to one third. So it's clear that it does not have to one third and then go one third, two thirds, one third, two thirds, one third. Make a small mistake. Let's say you try to point three three rather than point three 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 with the unit. So the bit says what we call it zero zero three. So the unit error is like three five to the power point. Point six six, and the error is going to have this spark number. Because that's what it has. Another is 1.32, you go away the room, you get 0.32. So 0.32 and this is 1.3, and this is 1.100. Now we have to say that the what are we talking about? So that is what we have to do the other people that are that requires 50, for example, 50 events to happen. But if you get a simple thing, you can say you have only one more and you move the part to the other one. And if I think like five, such your error has gone from part in the thousand to the part of the So this is sensitivity that you can do. No matter where it starts, it will always land up at the same object. This object is one, but it's this is a unique object. So this gave rise to the important concept making it to one level backward. Because no matter where you start, you go to and it's gonna drop. And I'm more than one example. I mean, uh, we've got rid of this in the same time. Um, yeah. Yeah. The other, so this is what the orbit dynamic was, and this is the board model, that you have a model of the data, and you can turn it down, but you have been aware that this is the one we would have this one of these. Recipients of the red So we need to be more tolerant. The other thing is also appeared in 2016, 
I would want to buy the things in front of them in the wall. And I would buy the bars. And this was the consistent. What we were looking at is the amount of the more expected results and looking at the emotion. So in just a moment, the size of our hammer tournament. And if you do, you see Pythagoreans and you think that you know, there is a interesting how many conserved quantities are there? So typically you find out that you know if the eye for momentum conserved, it is the energy conserved, or no, so how much the sun is actually the division, how many conserved quantities? Um, so, the that have a Hamiltonian that you have a Hamiltonian at some point in time, you don't come across how you have a very winning thing of writing all our mechanics in the context. And this is Hamiltonian. The term of Hamiltonian is a What do, what, what do orbits in such a system look like? And they found that when the energy was low, the value of the Hamilton was low. We only to take exactly as what we are having in the coordination system and we can probably remember how the coordinates and coordinations yet to be reconnected. And it looks very nice. This is how it was. The motion is just so, the same system can support also lines and smooth and monotonous, and then you know, other dimensional conditions or other values of the energy or the energy can go into something that looks completely stable. What happens when you've got a star in a different it just move away and go away. And you know, the thing is, some of the movements are different orbits. It doesn't have this one weird effect on the solve the. Uh, the two body problem, the gravitation problem, the two body problem. Immediately the question was what happens if the small body is not the problem? Also, the gravitation is the gravitation problem. Let's say the sun is Jupiter and what is the motion it looks like? And Lagrange discovered that he couldn't write down terrible solutions. He did 400 years later. But the motion of any uh, you know, two sort of the masses are going to be comparable or at least large enough. Uh, but the moment that the two body problem will not pertain to the sun, moon, and it is the sun of Jupiter and Earth that we have to consider. And it's fundamentally completely different. So, the physical object for the two body problem is like this. But when it pertains to our own solar system, is that because I in a mini body problem, most orbits of our solar system are in that case. We are mostly on a non orbit orbit. <laughs> this might be go around the sun and the other 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 and the 
actual fields would be uh, described by what are called power laws. By power laws, in the power laws, the laws which address the power of the variable rather than as an exponential or a curve. I'm going to refer some property y that depends on the scale x to a power theta. If you look that you can take two different scales, x1 and x2, then y1 and y2 grows as an entire addition x1 and x2 to some power theta. So this basically says that what the relationship between x1 and x2 x1 is twice x2. Then this becomes a number 2. Right? So it does not matter whether x1 is 1 or 2 or 10 or 100. The difference between 100 and 200 will be the same as the relationship between 1. So in a sense, objects like this have the feature of and it will also have uh, And one of the uh, things that is useful for is what we normally call the dimension. So the dimension of an object, along with which the area of the dimension is a variety of different ways. One of them is by saying that how many variables do you need to mark the one so if you go to line, you know you can put your origin at one point and one coordinate will tell you where you are going to be two and therefore the line is one dimension. A plane would be coordinates so we are two dimensional here and we have one view of the plane. If you consider this common object or box of size one, so if you come out the dimension of one box, you will have a big with one box, and if you come out the two with one box. Now, if you reduce the size of the box to a half, I'm going to make two boxes of the line, but I'm going to make four boxes, or two square boxes, or bigger, and eight or two cube boxes. This one. If I reduce the length of the power cut to a third, then I'm going to need three from the line, three squared, and three cubed. So the dimension really is not the number of coordinates that you need, but it is the power that you require when you keep reducing these sizes smaller and smaller. If you have a different is 1, 2 is 1, 3 is 1. Here the different is 1, 2 is 2, 3 is 2, and there's no dispute in that shape. And the idea of this is 3 is 1. So it turns out that you can apply the same idea to objects like the factor that I was just talking about. And you do the homework exercise, you don't have to do the lecture with no homework. Whatsoever, and so uh, so if I start with the line, okay, the two that I have on this, two that I have on the on the intersection, and then the tap on the intersection, you can see how this power is giving the whole curve, and this one goes the whole curve, and so on. This is all my intersection. So the so-called dimension which is actually a number which is not four by one. It's not one, it's not two. And something in between. So curves like this are neither lines nor are they pairs. But why is this important to us? So one we could keep on building about earthquakes and we can go down to the world and have two things. Right? And uh, this is something from the Richard Singh. And it's because earthquakes were there in power. The number of earthquakes of a certain size is the power law in that That's why it has to be. That's why you have to get this thing. But the physicists can do it. We're talking about ground level 
need to understand how the universe around us seems to organize itself into the vacuum cloud kingdoms that have come the most on all of this. And uh, it seems to be time to look out for an external agency. I don't know what to do. I know we can never work with any of those for two of them. And if you are at the point of view, you can do it with us. Very many of you may want to talk about the 